Nreal Air AR Glasses, the future of eyesight. The Nreal Air AR Glasses appear to have been designed with early adopters in mind. They are cool gadgets, but they offer fairly limited functionality and clunky controls at a price that is a little too high, especially given the current economic situation. What is the glasses price, release, design, specs, etc? Let's dive in today's video as Metagen will review these AR glasses and tell you the future of eyesight. Make sure to stay tuned with Metagen for more videos like this. Here we begin. Performance The Enreal Air AR glasses are more akin to a personal portable projector than a pocket-sized TV. This means the image through the glasses is best when looking at an opaque, plain black ground in a dimly lit room. However, if you're outside or facing a light source, you'll need to use the optional visor to actually see what's displayed. Having said that, the glasses HD image is quite impressive. The colors are less vibrant than we'd like, and the last of 4K resolution is disappointing, but the device's small size more than compensates. It's about the size of a 130 inch TV, 4 meters away. While not completely vision filling, it's still more immersive than staring at a phone screen. In a nutshell, the audio performance is excellent. It's more dynamic than a good pair of headphones, but more than adequate if you don't mind people around you hearing what you're listening to. Fortunately, if you use headphones, the AR glasses speakers will automatically mute, just like your phone. However, you must consider more than just the specs of the glasses, as the Enreal Air is only compatible with certain smartphones. This includes the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G, and the Oppo Find X5, among others, on the full official list. In addition, you can connect it to other handhelds such as the Steam Deck. You can connect them to one of the best iPhones on the market and a Nintendo Switch with a new Nreal adapter, but it will cost you $59. In addition, to connect to an iPhone, you'll need to purchase the $49 official Apple Lightning Digital AV adapter, bringing the total cost of glasses to $487 for Apple fans. If you want to try them out, you may need to purchase a new phone unless you already have one of the compatible devices. This is due to a hardware rather than a software issue that prevents devices from working with the Enreal Air glasses. Design The Enreal Air glasses is one of a growing number of smart glasses that look like regular sunglasses, a difficult feat given the technology on offer. In fact, at first glance you might not notice that they're smart glasses at all. Unlike the HTC Vive Flow, the Enreal's air design is very subtle, with a largely black plastic build and flashes of silver aluminum that add to the premium look on offer. The arms are slightly thicker than standard sunglasses, but not as bulky as Meta's camera-equipped Ray-Bans. In fact, at only 79 grams, they're remarkably light, avoiding the front-heavy nature of most traditional VR headsets for a more natural experience. Instead, the glasses sit on your face like any other pair of sunglasses, an impressive feat from the Enreal team. In addition, the box features three sets of nose bridges as well as angled arms to help you get the perfect fit for your face. There is slight clamping at the back of the head to keep the glasses in place. This is understandable and fairly common practice in head-worn tech because you don't want the glasses to fly off your head if you turn too quickly, but it becomes noticeable after one hour plus periods of wear. The lenses themselves will small mounted transparent displays on each lens that glint when active for a cyberpunk-esque effect are the only giveaway that they're smart. That and a cable running from the back of the left arm, more on that in a moment. If you're in a particularly bright room and having trouble seeing the transparent displays, tiny buttons on the right arm control the display's brightness and power, allowing you to quickly crank up the brightness. On the other hand, volume is solely controlled by your connected smartphone and delivered via small downfiring speakers on each arm. The sound quality is surprisingly good, and will use the glasses speakers without complaint while watching Netflix movies and gaming, though it is audible to those nearby. However, the solution is simple. Simply connect headphones to your phone, automatically diverting audio. However, volume and brightness controls on the headset would have been useful. When not in use, the Enreal Air glasses are housed in a microfiber-lined hard carry case that protects them from drops and minor impacts, as well as a handy compartment for the cable and a cleaning cloth to keep the lenses clean. Air Casting 
The use of the glasses as a surrogate TV mirroring your phone screen is now more appealing. You now have your own private cinema by streaming a movie, TV show, or game from Netflix or another service. In addition, the glasses generate a screen about the size of a 24 monitor arm's length away from you on the desk, which is far superior to trying to watch something on your phone's small display. Most media streaming apps and games work, but those require a TV to be connected or do not. The glasses have small built-in speakers that function properly, but broadcast audio to those around you. To provide the soundtrack, connect your own Bluetooth earbuds to your phone. Experimenting with different apps on your phone, such as seeing a live feed from your phone's camera on the glasses or playing console quality games with the Bluetooth joypad. Furthermore, the sidecast option shifts the content to the left of your vision, allowing you to watch something without instructing your view of the real world around you, so this mode is supported by fewer apps. One difference between the two modes is that which appears on the glasses also appears on the phone screen. When you turn off the phone screen, it no longer appears on the glasses. MR Space The MR Space creates a virtual space with a floating home screen from which you launch and lay out your browser windows, using the Nebula app on your phone as a pointing stick and clicker to interact with elements. The system has three degrees of freedom, which means you can turn your head from side to side, up and down, or rotate to different angles, such as the Guardian site, open full size in the center, but Twitter far to your left. It's unique, but also limited. You can only go so far with the built-in browser. An intriguing virtual cycling experience is available. However, it appears to be a demo, with fixed-paced video of a route through a city or landscape playing at a floating screen in front of you as you cycle on an exercise bike. The field of view is narrow, so when you turn your head you see an empty void with no connection to what you're doing with your legs. A few apps and games are available in the Play Store that works with the glasses, but most of them are only compatible with Unreal's more advanced and expensive light glasses, which aren't available in the UK. In addition, many more apps and features are required for the mixed reality mode to be interesting beyond a quick play. Price and Availability the Enreal Air, Air, Air glasses are available exclusively from Amazon in the United States for $379 or EE in the United Kingdom for €400. Euros. Those of you who are EE customers in the UK can pay a single upfront cost or spread it out using EE's add to plan purchase options. The latter reduces the cost to £10 up front, followed by £35 per month for 11 months, the total cost being £395. So what do you think of the Enreal Air Glass? Let us know in the comments below, and stay tuned with Metagen for more uploads like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.